Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm playing against uh, MC Go 2 from the US. I wonder who he is. We have the Sicilian Dragon Nidor for Scheveningen. Dragon! Okay, now I'm gonna unleash one of my secret weapons. It's not a secret, of course, but uh, played it many times. Yeah, even on my channel, probably also in the database, is H3 move instead of F3. It has a lot of venom, and uh, I am sure he didn't hear about it based on his rating and the fact that he's anonymous. Uh, so, but let's see, we might face a dragon expert right here. So, I feel like uh, in this position, he mm, doesn't have any big threats. Um, normally the most precise way to play is castle fold by either d5 or knight d4. This particular move order allows me to save two tempi on bishop c4, bishop b3. Uh, in case it goes knight d5, knight c4. So I can't complain for the moment. And uh, yeah, I can go knight b3 but maybe I'll go here first, see what he does. I don't see a threat for now. Knight b3, f4 is coming really quickly. So the main point of h3, instead of the traditional Yugoslavian attack, is to actually attack uh, mainly on the center. Not necessarily on the king side with h4 h5 so the pawn is here protects g4 and then i go f4 and basing my game on e5 or f5 related ideas um, sometimes g5 but mainly the point is to grab space sometimes get a better end game with knight d5 but here particularly it feels like uh, oh this one i didn't see coming that's quite an unwelcome surprise. I think I have to take with the pawn if I want to remain. Maintain some material advantage. Okay. He's playing in the true spirit of the dragon. Now I'll take, he takes. Queen d4 seems almost forced to my eyes. Queen e1 is also possible, but knight f3 traps my queen. So, put the queen on d4 and then think. The bishop is underprotected for the moment, so at least I can consult myself with this fact. Yeah, I really don't want to put my king on the same diagonal. Oh, so what? So he got two pawns and a piece for a queen. If I go king c1, he should probably... Play knight a2, then I can go king b2. Okay, let's go here. For the moment, I think you should castle the most practical move, but I don't see a direct uh, way for him to, to keep attacking. But uh, I'll be glad to be proven wrong. Let's see what he has for me. If knight a2, king b2, and well, while he has three pawns, he's gonna have to give up something in order to continue the attack. So castle seems like the most challenging move. As I mentioned, yeah, now I, it's really challenging to to say what is his threat. I'm not sure he even has a direct threat. Probably does, but it's hard to say. So feels like to get my queen away from this diagonal might not be a bad idea and this is a good square for it as far as I can tell uh, protecting a2, grabbing a pawn maybe later grabbing b7 if he lets me so it feels like uh, for now I'm leading by 5 points it's almost like a full rook assuming I'm 
I'm uh, calculating in the traditional way um, that the queen is nine points. So, yeah, let's just be more precise. I say that he has one pawn and the knight for the queen, and now it's just the knight for the queen. My, my queen might get trapped actually, yeah, or I lose my rook. It's not what I hoped for. Yeah, this is not what I signed up for when I took all these pieces. Yeah, I kind of missed it. Should have just went queen b6 or something, but yeah. It's the problem. One of the seven sins is being greedy. Okay. I can try it. So he has one piece for the queen right now. Take on e7, go rook d6. And hang on tight. This is not going to be pretty, but I'll give you that. I'm giving away. Maybe we are on the verge of creating a masterpiece. It will be remembered for years to come. Is uh, how players should play the dragon. Ah. Uh, Maybe taking the rook would have been the safe choice, but I don't want to be worse. I want to keep fighting for something. Okay, I have to go somewhere. Don't have many squares. I don't have many squares at all. Such a shame. Oh my god, this is terrible. Just go here. So materially, let's count. He has a piece and a rook, four a queen and two pawns. It's, but he's gonna grab many pawns. He's gonna yes. attack me and maybe get some material. I really don't want to go to the B file, so where of these two squares should I go? d2 might be less losing knight f3 check though is very close to mating i'm really scared right now <sighs> yeah. okay i have to go somewhere this is terrifying yeah shouldn't have allowed queen takes c3 to happen. I think my position was much better had I played knight b3 earlier. But uh, there's no time to regret. Life is too short. Check. Okay, if he repeats the position, I won't complain. Check. Despite his low rating. Check. Uh -huh. So making a draw might not be the best for my rating but it's not the worst Game either drawn. yeah well i'm sure black is winning somehow yeah what a res unique uh, experience okay so back to the opening this is more or less theoretical queen a5 is not the move they play 95 i've seen being played up and then something related to king b1 or Castles f4. Let's demonstrate. I remember a game of uh, a grandmaster from Israel who passed away uh, about uh, uh, half a year ago or a bit more. And uh, his name is Leonid Gofstein. He he played with white against someone named Summerscale or something like this. Uh, yeah, and here. They got this position somehow, I'm not sure about the move order. And then white played e5, black cannot take, he might lose this pawn after knight e8, his bishop. So I'll give the example. So here I think there's no way to protect the bishop. So there's a pin. So he didn't take, he played knight e8 immediately. And then white was better somehow. There are many ways to play, but... You, you can see for yourself that black's position is a little bit cramped. So instead he went queen a5, which looks far from convincing. I just have to go knight b3 immediately, drive the queen away. He 
probably has to go back or to e5 i don't know she doesn't have any square as far as the computer wants you to go to c7 and then g5 knight d5 but even king b1 looks really good and the white's position is much better instead i went for this ridiculous move king b1 that looks very logical yeah now suddenly black has good counterplay f4 might be the way but then rook c3 so yeah now already black has good counterplay i should play g5 but it's so hard in blitz to sense the danger yeah, i allow this amazing queen sack now objectively it says it's equal but obviously it's very difficult to find the right moves f4 and then repeating the position now queen d4 back was so much better I want to play queen b6 but still bishop c6 so anyway here queen takes c7 rook d6 somehow I'm not completely lost king b1 is really scary might have been better and here instead of playing rook e c8 with a winning position or also here I decided to repeat I guess the reason is his rating and the fact that I was 500 points higher but he played amazingly and I wouldn't dare claiming to, to have good winning chances when my king is almost mated and he can always give perpetual later if he wants this is ridiculous I mean to play such a masterpiece just to make a draw I mean I really hope for uh, my opponent that if he sees this video uh, one day that to take my advice to it's better 10 times in a row to try to win even if you lose five or out of these positions and you're not gonna lose five in such a position but even if you lose all 10 games don't be afraid this is much worse than actually doing something bad so please when you have a winning position or an initiative try to attack and don't don't take the draw and don't take draw offers from strong players in uh, better positions there's no reason to just try to play and see what happens we are here to play chess not to get some results or rating i mean the, mo the main thing is the the game so try to play and uh, have fun hope you learned something from this experience and uh, enjoyed watching this uh, ridiculously <laughs> crazy game uh, and uh, yeah if you want to learn some more then uh, keep watching the next videos